This is a hairdo that was requested on my Facebook page and it is a look that has been highly requested. It is inspired by Beyonce's updo. There's an inspirational picture in the information box. Also it has been requested as a Selena Quintanilla look. I will show you in this video how I did my hair and I will also do a bit of tutorial on the makeup. If you would like to see the smoky eye with the bold lip. Go ahead and click on this picture. If you're just interested in seeing how I put the hair together, then you can go ahead and click on the image of the hair. Getting started with the makeup, prior to starting, I did my foundation, powder, and defined my brows. I'm using the first edition of the 120 palette from BH Cosmetics. Using this light shade, I'm going to apply this all over my eyelids from the eyelid all the way up to my brow bone. I did also apply an eyeshadow primer, sorry I forgot to mention that. And from there I'm going to use this sort of light tan color and I'm going to apply this to the crease of my eyes like so. Then I'm using this fluffy brush by BH Cosmetics and I'm using it to blend the light tan color into my orbital bone. Then I'm taking this dark black shade and I am creating a V right outside the corner of my eye. This is going to create the depth in the makeup look and gives it the smoky look. Going back to the fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend it with the tan color like so. Very, very lightly and stroking from the back of my eyelid or the back of the corner to the front like so. Then I'm going to apply some winged liner keeping it very very simple and just working with um, small strokes as opposed to going all the way across that always makes it easier for me to do it this way. Once I have that then this is the completed eye look and I'm going to apply this red lipstick which is by NYX. I'll put the name in the information box. And prior to filming the hair tutorial I did apply a heat protectant. Here I am just going to put my hair up into a high ponytail. and Put the ponytail right at the top of my head. Smooth out as much of the bumps as you can and then I'm using two hair ties because my hair is heavy and it tends to move around if I don't have it um, secured with the two ponytails. So just going back and smoothing out any bumps I might possibly have. At this point I'm going to apply hairspray or any product that will tame the flyaways. I'm using my hair bun um, former but you don't have to use one if you don't want to but this really creates the thickness and volume in the bun overall. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. A lot of people say you can also use a rolled up sock if you cut off the tip from the sock. So here you can see I'm just using this curling iron to create my rolls. It makes the rolling a lot easier and also keeps each roll very nice and smooth. And then applying product to tame the flyaways. The curling iron will also help tame the flyaways because it presses them down into your hair. And when you release it and put it in your hand just be really careful because it's very hot and then go ahead and pin it down wherever you'd like it to be. In this case you saw I was going to pin it on the left side but then I decided no I'm going to move it over to the right. This is where you're going to get creative. I've noticed that if you move the hair from the opposite side to, an, to the other side it gives it a lot more volume and lift. So. You'll see me taking sections, for example, from the back and moving them to the front and taking sections from the front and moving them to the back. It takes some practice and also I highly recommend working in front of a mirror. 
Um, in some instances, you'll see that I will tease some of these curls or rolls. It's just to give it a lot more lift and volume. You can use hairspray, you can use dry shampoo, whichever you prefer. Um, I don't have a preference. I've been using dry shampoo in some of my videos just because it's easier to tease the hair that way. So here you can see I'm just continuing to roll after I use the curling iron and then pinning it down. Again, it helps to use multiple mirrors so that you can see um, what your hair is looking like, especially in the back. I'm using this brush to smooth out any flyaways after I spray on some hairspray. And I'm just going to continue to roll um, the sections of hair. Here you can see that I'm taking the top part and I'm just setting it aside because this is going to cover the top of my entire bun. So I'm taking a section from this side and I'm pulling it over to this side just as I mentioned before. And then just brushing it down with a brush and spraying it with hairspray. Now I'm going to work on the top section that I set aside by just rolling it on the curling iron. The curl doesn't have to be perfect, but like I said, this does help to form the roll. And then once you have it in the position that you want it, you can go ahead and put the bobby pins on the inside and conceal the bobby pins as much as possible. Now again, I highly recommend using at least two mirrors to do this look. I was just doing it with one, so it's kind of hard to see the back part of my head, obviously. but um. Once you're done, then you're going to go ahead and start taking some more hairspray and then, you know, uh, taming all the little flyaways all over your head, making it nice and smooth. And once you've done that, then you're pretty much done with your look. This look looks really great with dangling earrings, so I highly recommend putting those on. And it really helps your face and your makeup stand out, especially if you're used to wearing your hair down. People will just be surprised to see you with your hair up. So I hope that you guys like this glamorous look. It's pretty simple to do and the results are very beautiful. And hopefully you guys also liked the makeup tutorial. I don't know how you guys feel about me doing hair and makeup. Let me know in the comments description area or the comments area. And here I am reading your comments. Congratulations on being first. And congratulations on being second. Now, this is the second time that I get a request for the All, All I Want for Christmas is You music video hair. Let me know if you guys want that. And congratulations on being the winner of last video's comments. Click here to see my previous video, a tutorial on the All I Want for Christmas is You inspired nails. And I hope that you guys have been inspired by my video. Thank you for watching.